Hey guys, Miss Sarah here, back with Rosie. We're gonna show you how to make shrink film. It's really fun. So um, back in the 80s and 90s when I was a kid, we called these shrinky dinks. Um, and it takes plastic you can draw on and it draw whatever you want, cut it out. When you put it in the oven, it's gonna shrink to one third of its original size, which is fun. So some of the things we've made, we've made um, some pins, we've made, um, keychains. We've just made cool pictures. Um, we've made rockets we can launch. So um, just some fun. So materials, what do we need? Uh, you need the plastic. It can come two ways. You can buy it. I just bought this off of um, online. Um, or if you're getting carry out or something from the grocery store that comes in plastic, look for plastic that has the number six. You want number six plastic. Can you see that down there? This is the same exact plastic that they use for this. This can go through your printer though, just so you know. Um, you also need markers, like permanent markers, colored pencils, scissors, and some of the optional things are, you can get key ring kits, pin backs, um, and hole punchers if you want to make it a keychain. <laughs> Trying to find that hole puncher. There's our hole puncher. Um, so those are some of the materials you need. So Rosie's going to start here. She's already traced. So um, when we're doing this here at home, sometimes we draw our own pictures. Sometimes we go online and we find a picture and we print it out uh, for inspiration. Sometimes we take pictures from our favorite books and trace. We're not selling these. We're not breaking any rules. This is just for our own personal use. So she's gonna color that. Um, because she's using the regular paper that we bought, it's already sanded. If you get this one, you need to use sandpaper and give it a scuff, especially if you're using colored pencils. So she's just traced it. Now she's coloring it. Um, when it's all ready, she's gonna cut it out. Okay, once it's colored, you're gonna take your scissors, you're gonna cut your shape out. You don't have to cut right on the lines. The border will, will thin up just alongside um, everything else. Um, so don't worry too much about that. Um, parents with little kids, you might wanna help them with the cutting, especially if they're not uh, comfortable with scissors because it it's tougher to cut than paper. Um, just keep that in mind. So Rosie's gonna finish cutting that out. While she's doing that, I'm gonna get out a baking sheet, a pie pan, anything that's oven safe that we can put in the oven because that's where it's going next. I've preheated the oven to 325 and this is gonna go in there. Go ahead and put it in Wait. our pie pan. Oh, she wants to make it a keychain, so you need to hole punch before you send it in the oven. It will be too late after. That's stuck. All right, go ahead and put it in there. Let's put it in the oven. I'm gonna let you see what it looks like. Okay, so here was the picture we traced and here is the finished product. So now she's gonna put a keychain uh, kit on there and make it into a keychain, just like that. So that's pretty neat. Um, this was another one. So this is how big it started. And this is what it ended up. Pretty fun, right? So here's one more tip we have for you. Rosie's gonna keep on making because we can have hours of fun with this. When you do this, if you wanna make it into something else, we put pins on this one. I can see the pin through that. So what we learned was to paint the back white. And now you can see our picture nice and clear and you can't see the pin. So I hope you guys have hours of fun with this. Keep on being creative. I'm gonna link an article down below that tells you how shrink film works and why it shrinks up like it does. So keep having fun and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye.